The date palm is an important part of the cultural, religious, and agricultural heritage of many Arab and North African countries. In Egypt, dates are permanent guests in every household, especially during the fasting month of Ramadan. In rural areas, entire communities gain their income from the craftsmanship of the palm fronds and leaves. In the processing sector, day processing for national markets has great potential for expansion and income generation for millions of farmers. With more than 13 million palms, Egypt's date production amounts to over 1 million tons per year. The industry, however, has been facing severe problems caused by the red palm weevil. Not larger in size than a date, the effects of the weevil on date palm production are devastating. The weevil was first recorded in Egypt in 1992 through the importation of ornamental palm trees coming from Arab Gulf countries. By flying from tree to tree, the weevil is now found from the Nile Delta all the way to Aswan and from Siwa to Sinai. It's the worst disease for palms and severely impacts the entire tree. After four months of infection, the weevil can kill the palm tree. It eats the fibers until the tree falls. All of Egypt's palm trees are affected and at risk by the red palm weevil. This results in poor date palm production. Many farmers are reluctant to invest and plant palm trees today. In this video, we will learn about successful treatment of red palm weevil infestations. We will also show preventive measures to reduce the ability of the weevil to infest the palm tree. But before that, we need to understand the life cycle of the weevil and the symptoms of infestation. As many small-scale farmers are unaware of the first signs of infestation, damage caused by the red palm weevil is often noticed too late. When the palm tree weevil infects the tree, it enters the trunk and eats what gives life and energy to the tree. It directly weakens the heart of the palm, and this is why you get a poor harvest at the end. On top of that, the dates themselves are of bad quality, a second or third grade, and no good for export. A first obvious sign of infestation by the weevil is the discovery of an active nest in the trunk cavity, resulting in a brown, sticky, and bad-smelling secretion, which will start to flow from the nest entry point. The more advanced the infestation inside the tree, the more brown liquid can be seen draining out of the nest. This is a clear indication that the palm weevil is actively feeding on the inner palm tissue. The warm and moist environment inside the trunk is a perfect place for female weevils to lay their eggs and hatch hundreds of larvae that seek food by eating upwards towards the palm heart. Another clear symptom of infestation is seeing gnawed off tissues, resembling sawdust on the ground around the palm. This is where the weevil made her entry point. Sometimes you can even hear the sound of weevil larvae eating inside the trunk. Once the insides of a palm tree have been consumed, the top will start to bend and will eventually fall off. The tree is now as good as dead and the weevil will move on to colonize other palms. Since the larval stage lasts between 4 and 12 weeks, thorough and regular treatment of infested trees is needed. Let us find out how to treat palms infested with the weevil. There are two main techniques to combat the red palm weevil in Egypt. First, by using the traditional pipe method, and second, by using a pressure pump. For both methods, we need to identify the location of the weevil's nest and create entry points around it to insert the pesticide. Using an approved pesticide is currently the most effective method of killing the weevil. 
Always wear the necessary protective clothing, face mask and gloves, to avoid the pesticide coming into contact with your skin. Make sure that the pesticide is one recommended by your local agronomist. With the pipe method, make your first hole 10 centimeters above the nest. Use a thick metal tool long enough to easily dig a 10 to 15 centimeter hole into the palm trunk. Angle the hole down to help the pesticide reach the nest through gravity. Place a pipe or hose in the hole so you can easily pour in the pesticide. Continue making another four to five holes around the nest, all of them above the level of the nest. Dilute the pesticide according to the instructions on the bottle. Fill the tubes with the diluted pesticide and keep refilling them as the liquid drains into the nest. If you use an undiluted pesticide, you'll harm your date palm, and it won't kill the weevil. We usually put 30 centiliters of pesticide to 10 liters of water. The larvae are very resistant. They don't die from contact with the pesticide. They need to eat the pesticide. So you want to soak the fibers with it. You need to treat this area well to last two months to make sure that the nest is dead and the palm won't be reinfested. A major issue with the conventional pipe method is that sometimes not enough pesticide reaches the nest to kill the pupating larvae. Many farmers that have used this method have reported not seeing successful results. Recently, a new machine was designed using a pressure pump to inject larger amounts of the pesticide into the palm tree. It was created at the Agricultural Engineering Research Institute in Cairo. This machine can inject 16 times more pesticide into a tree. So how does the machine work? And is it more effective than the piping method? This machine was developed in 2004. It consists of two components, a screw connected with a pipe and a pressure pump. The high pressure pumps the pesticide into the nest in all directions, up, down, and left and right of the nest, reaching all the tunnels in the trunk created by the weevil. We do it with one entry point for the screw and has a high success rate in one treatment. Gamal Al Amir, farmer and extension officer from Burtubat in Al Minya Governorate, is working with smallholders to treat the palm weevil and has adapted this machine to facilitate his work. I saw this design for the pump for the red palm weevil and wanted to improve it to facilitate my work. Because I wasn't a palm worker, I had trouble carrying 10 liters of water to a high nest. So I developed a model where the pump and container stays on the ground. I also developed a third model where I can pump when I'm up the tree, but the container is stays on the ground. I wanted to create something that is easy to use and affordable, so that every village can have access to it. Let's take a closer look at how to treat the red palm weevil using the pumping machine. First, identify the location of the weevil's nest. Set up the machine. Drill a hole 15 to 20 centimeters above the nest location. Depending on the trunk diameter, drill 15 to 25 centimeters so as to reach the center of the trunk. Connect the drill to the pump and make sure that it's fixed tightly. Fill the tank with an approved diluted pesticide. 
Turn the drill regularly to ensure that the solution has been distributed properly. Then dismantle the machine. Now firmly close the holes by stuffing small palm fronds and leaves into the perforated areas. Mark each treated tree with yellow tape to indicate it has been treated and requires follow-up. أنا عندي في الإصابة بتبقى لو ظهرت قدامي في المادة أو السائل اللي بينزل ده. If you have an infestation with visible secretions and you think you've treated it successfully because the secretion stopped, don't think you're safe. Still check your tree. You might find that the nest has moved upwards and secretions are visible somewhere else. This means the nest is still active. You need to follow up everywhere on your tree for three months after treatment. A small nest, if not treated, can become a weevil airport. These trees are marked with red tape and must be treated constantly. Be aware, however, that in trees with big infestations, the damage might be irreversible, and even the pesticide treatment will not work. If a tree dies from the weevil, be aware that the wood and the humidity inside are still attractive nest sites. So to prevent further infestations, you must burn or bury it to prevent the larvae from surviving. About two months before your date harvest, stop applying the pesticide or you will poison your harvest. So now let us learn what needs to be done to avoid reinfestation or prevent them in the first place. Be aware that the weevil is attracted to the fresh smell of the palm wood and fronds. The fresh wood is softer and makes it easier for the weevil to enter the tree trunk. So any cutting or pruning is like sending the weevil an open invitation to dig out a new nest. To reduce the smell of fresh wood, Cover the cut areas with a thick layer of sulfur. You can buy this at your local agricultural trade shop. Farmers who do not have access to sulfur may use ash as an alternative. Sprinkle the sulfur or ash on the freshly cut palm fronds or any parts of the trunk that have been trimmed. You can also spray pesticide on the cut fronds, especially if it's a young tree. Young trees are more susceptible to the weevil, so it's much harder to treat them effectively as the heart of the tree is quickly reached by the larvae. Proper protection of young trees is therefore essential. As farmers, we are still confronted with the fact that a nearby tree may be a major nesting site. and that not all our fellow farmers may be equally vigilant and keen on following the treatment and protective measures required. This increases the risk of reinfestation and can lead to many farmers being unwilling to invest in treatments. Fighting the palm weevil needs communication between farmers, extension officers and researchers. We need to pay more attention to supporting farmers. Even if the farmers have access to treatments, they may not be aware of the infections and are not always following up on their trees. Community efforts are needed to fight the red palm weevil in all villages and all governorates, not just one. Joint efforts are needed as the weevil spreads easily from area to area. If you see an infestation, you need to treat it. Let us review the integrated steps we need to follow to protect and treat our palms from the malicious red palm weevil. Conduct regular checkups on your trees, especially young ones that are vulnerable. Leave the fronds until they are dry before pruning. Apply sulfur or ash on areas that can attract the weevil, humid areas or recently pruned trees. Apply approved and diluted pesticide to kill the larvae in the nest. Stop applying pesticide two months before harvesting your dates. Palm trees with severe infestations need to be burnt or buried to avoid it spreading. 
Work with your community to treat palms at the local and regional level and help other small-scale farmers in understanding the dangers of leaving infested trees untreated. A small investment in time and money can help save our palm and date industry. We have a duty to stop the infestation at our community and national level. But we also hope that beyond Egypt, farmers across the globe are joining forces to combat the weevil in their palms and to protect our common agricultural heritage.